Hey guys, I uh, got a quick one for you today. Uh, fairly common problem in these old GM trucks. This is a 2005 Silverado. So it's you know roughly 20 years old. It's fairly common in this, in this generation anyway of trucks where these tailgates get a little sloppy. And it's honestly kind of obnoxious. Like even when you're driving, I can hear it inside the cab of the truck. It just rattles around. But it's actually a relatively straightforward fix. I'm going to show you how to fix it. The actual issue, you might be thinking, you know, adjusting hinges and uh, moving the um, latches and things like that. But in most cases, the most likely problem is right here. There's typically a rubber bumper right here as uh, kind of takes up the gap and swishes when you close the tailgate and keeps it from rattling. And that's these right here. This is Dorman 45679. You can pick these up on Amazon. You can pick them up at your local parts store. Um, they're fairly common, fairly easy to come by. And they just, they're just rubber. So over, over the years, over, you know, this is a 20 year old truck over the, over time, they, dry out, they wear out, they crack, and then they eventually fall off. And really stupid simple. Just a little bumper here with a little slot in it. That slot goes over top of that and it goes towards the truck. So it butts up against, I'll show you. You kind of see it on this side a little bit maybe. Ouch, watch the hinge. Where you have the, the indent on the truck and the bumper bumps up against that and takes up the gap. So you just gotta stick it on. It'll go on kind of tough, potentially, because it's, it's obviously it's got to be a kind of a snug fit. And then that's it. We'll do the other side. Now this side is a little bent. I wonder, let me pull this one back off and see. Yeah, this one's pretty straight. All right, that one's got a little bit of a bend to it. I'm gonna straighten that one out first. So I'm gonna ever so gently try to bend that back with a pair of pliers. Just some basic pliers, nothing fancy. I just don't want anything to snap off or overcompensate. There. Because once you get these bumpers on, they are kind of hard to get back off. And then I'll put that on. There we go. Now, A little bit still, because it is going to flex, but it's not quite so bad as it was before. I wonder if this side is a little worn, if I didn't bend it enough, because it sticks out a little here. That side's tight. This side's still a little loose. So, let's see if we can give it a little more bufferness. Actually bend this out towards the truck instead of just straightening it. Let's give it a little bit of forward bend. That'll push the bumper out a little farther. There we go. Much better. See, quick. So a few bucks. It wasn't worth that expensive. Under 10 bucks, I think. And uh, you have to live with a rattly tailgate. Also makes it close a lot easier. It's kind of hard to kind of noisy closing, and this makes it a little bit softer. So, if you got a noisy tailgate on your old Chevy, that's how you fix it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.